Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is about 11.30 p.m. We're taking off out of Bangkok, Sawanapum on Zip Air 787, sitting back in the cheap seats. But I think it was like 350 U.S. bucks. It was uh, a hard decision not to cash in some airline miles and go Japan business. But, yeah, I can suck it up for this six-hour flight heading to Tokyo. So that was a nice, easy flight. We took off around midnight. It's a little after six in the morning. Landing here in Japan in the next 15 minutes or so. Two hour time difference from Bangkok to Tokyo. It's uh, 7.10 local time. We took off about 11 p.m. Bangkok. A little over six hours and 10 minute flight. Really nice. And it's always nice to arrive in Tokyo. It is early. I think it's about 7.15 in the morning. So I just booked us a hotel on points for free. What is it? The a a Crown here at Narita Airport. We're waiting for the shuttle. And basically, I booked it for last night with a late checkout. Because of my IHG Platinum card, I can do a 2 o'clock checkout. And I called the hotel and said... Hey, is there any way I can get 3 o'clock? And they said, no problem. So Boone had to work all day yesterday, and then we were at the airport at midnight and or 11 p.m. Flew all night. So rather than uh, heading into the city, I'm always wired and awake, but she wants to lay down on positive. So I just got this hotel here. A little bit of a waste of points just for five or six hours, but if I would have booked say a capsule hotel here or maybe we took i want to say it's 70 kilometers into uh from narita to tokyo but i'm not positive it, it's a ways away the other option was to get one of those little like rest rooms or a dual capsule room these days those are 40 or 50 bucks so i'm okay with uh free and burning i think 14,000 ihg points the intercontinental hotel group i list a bunch of credit cards I use, and that's one of the main cards. Chase Sapphire is another. The IHG is also a Chase card. Check out the links in my video description if uh, you're starting to look for some travel cards. I mean, those have uh, been very, very valuable points for me, and they're they're easy to earn, the IHG points especially. So I get a ton of those by staying in places like Holiday Inn Expresses and Bali or Patia and Next thing you know, I have another 50,000 points and I can do things like go get five hours of sleep before I head into Tokyo for free. So that's actually a pretty good use of uh, 14,000 miles, I think. An Etihad air crew just checked in and now we're waiting on the uh, big bus to go back to the airport. I guess this time of the day it only runs once an hour. I think it took us about 15 minutes with a little bit of traffic to get over here and we're going to head to Terminal 1, uh, that is what I suspected, and the, and the guy at the desk said it's easier to get on the Narita Express heading into town from Terminal 1 than Terminal 2. It, it's probably easy for both, but it's probably super simple from Terminal 1, so that's where we're heading. And this is the Narita Airport uh, Express train. I'm not sure it was 8,500 baht for a round trip for Boone and a one-way for me, I'm heading off on the bullet train towards Osaka. And I think the train takes off in uh, five minutes. They assign you a seat, they assign you a car. It's 3.04 and our train is 3.14. So I'm not sure if this is an earlier train. If so, I'm gonna try to get on it. I don't care where we sit. Train pulled up and they're doing a cleaning thing. I don't think the train sits here for 10 minutes, but I have no idea. It's about uh, a little under an hour travel time. It's a little less than 60 bucks for those three train tickets. I think you get a, in fact, I know you do, you get a discount for a round trip with a foreign passport within 14 days, I think is what she said. And there's some Japanese cleaning staff hard at work, taking care of all the dust. I always call this the newer airport in Tokyo, but it did open in 1978. It's still well maintained. Narita Express. 
And there's Boone hanging out. I just uh, used my U.S. credit card. I use my U.S. credit card all over the world. I also just used my Navy Federal ATM card, peeled off 40,000 yen. I think it said it was a 220 yen fee for using that machine. And Navy Federal charges a flat rate 1%. And then I think they charge $1 or something small, of which I'm reimbursed uh, $10 a month. So it's not as good as the Schwab that reimburses everything. But I'm a Navy Federal guy. I've had the Schwab over the years. I don't have it right now. I, I closed it down. But I might reopen it. Don't be afraid to uh, use your ATM cards. There are machines all over the world. Many people travel with a pile of thousand dollars and hundred dollar bills. That to me is a little unsafe. I'd rather just suck it up and uh, pay the ATM charges. But bring multiple banks. I had an issue with my Navy Federal. It demagnetized and that was the only ATM card I had. So that was a little bit of a problem because I had about a hundred bucks cash in my pocket for a five day stay in Bali. It all worked out with the uh, Visa card. And of course, the cars are probably 20 years old and sparkling clean. I, I didn't even pay attention or ask if this is a first class, second class car. Didn't matter to me. The lady who's helping us, I think she pretty much understood. Uh, yeah, you just want the cheapest ticket for the 55 minute ride into town. But if you're interested in a, a little bit cushier seat, you can pay not much. I think it's like six extra dollars. This is fine. And these trains are simple to use. I haven't been on, uh, well, I guess I was on this train two years ago, but before that it had been 10 years. Don't be afraid to use them. I mean, it's easy to just get off the plane and, and get in a cab or maybe even order a grab car. I think there's grab here, but it's probably 10 times the expense. And we're heading to Shinjuku Station in Tokyo. I believe it is the busiest train station in the world. I know there are over 30 platforms. So this should be interesting at uh, 4 or 4.30 in the afternoon. So we took off at uh, 3.14, exactly on time. And it's 4.06, I think 4.08. We're pulling into Tokyo Station. Boom's catching a few wings on the train. to Shinagawa Station. And you know, I was wrong. We're going on 4.30. I think it's one hour to Tokyo Station, but I'm going to Shinjuku today. We're pulling into Shibuya Station, and the famous crossing, and then I think the next station is Shinjuku. It is 4.37, probably about 4.40. We're pulling into Shinjuku. Not sure when we left, 3.15. So that was the ride, just a couple of brief stops, maybe four stations. And we've arrived at the busy Shinjuku station. I don't know how many platforms and trains they have, but it is a ton. Go to the JR information and they'll take care of it for you or there are different kiosks all around the train station. Plug your hotel into Google Maps. Try to find a, one that's not far. I think we're a 10 minute walk from the train station. Google Maps is even telling us, take the escalator up to the first floor, or head to exit so-and-so. This is a big, huge station. I'm sure, you can wander outside and then get lost. All right, we popped out onto the street. Now we need to get our bearings. It's over in this direction, I think, Boone. Look at where the chicken is on the roof.
There's a cool little place called the Doug Jazz Cafe and Bar. That's a cool thing with Tokyo. They have all these little hidden spots in every inch of real estate. Well, that's a pretty nice view, and I see this uh, pub, Abbott's Choice, Guinness, and Magners. Boone likes a good Magner, so we might have to stop in. And here it is, the Citadines. It's gonna be a little small room. You check in on the third floor. Many of these, even Marriott's and Hilton's, the check-in lobby will be up on the 10th, 15th floor, and there might be a business down below. It's all about uh, going up here in Tokyo. So in traditional Tokyo style, it's a pretty small room. It was about, I got a pretty good deal on it, about 100 US. Um, Tonight, it, I just looked it up, and it was 169 So this is what you get for 169 US, not much. Little tiny bathroom. There's no big, huge queen king beds. Um, really, the best you can do in an average price place is this, a double bed. That's fine. Yeah, so if you want huge, expect to pay $300. And you'll get... A Western style hotel room. This is definitely Japanese style, but it's right in the heart of uh, the thick of it. That hotel gracery is probably one of the more popular in this um, Shinjuku area and the Golden Guy bars and nightclubs and everything is in this area. So, yeah, I'll put up with nice and clean, reasonable price 400 bucks for four nights. Uh, Tokyo especially has a very crazy tax. I want to say it's city tax, state tax, whatever it is, tourist tax. It amounts to about 22%. I don't want to pass out bad information, but I think that's what the number is. So even though you think you found a reasonable place at 60 bucks, see that APA across the way. Those are businessmen hotels. You'll see APAs everywhere. There's probably three or four right in this area. And I was looking at one that was... $51, and then when you looked at it for three nights, instead of uh, 200 bucks, it was closer to $375, and you noticed all the taxes, but eh, that's just the price of doing business. Hey, so thanks for following around this little run from uh, the airport into Shinjuku area of Tokyo. We're going to go out and run around for a few days, and then Boone's flying back home. She's a business person. I am... Uh, going to take the bullet train up to Osaka and explore that town. I've never visit, visited Osaka before. I've been to Tokyo many times. The last time was probably in the downtown area 10 or 11 years ago, maybe maybe 12. I've been to the airport several times, but uh, yeah, I, I am no expert on Tokyo, so I'm going to get out and take a look around. But primarily, I'm a, a Bangkok guy. I'm based in Bangkok, so if that's what interests you, maybe take a look at some of the other playlists on the channel. And uh, I got some pretty good stuff from uh, an amateur expat's point of view. So take it easy. Have a great evening.